Good evening, everybody, and welcome to an important update on Tropical Storm Fiona. So, Tropical Storm Fiona, as of 8 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, September 17th, 2022, has maximum sustained winds of 60 miles per hour, a minimum central pressure of 998 millibars, and is moving west-northwest at 8 miles per hour. Fiona is expected to uh, create to have major impacts across Puerto Rico tonight and tomorrow. And I'm going to be reading the key messages for Tropical Storm Fiona from the National Hurricane Center because this is very important. Hurricane conditions are expected across portions of Puerto Rico on Sunday and are possible across the U.S. Virgin Islands tonight. Tropical storm conditions are now spreading westward across the U.S. and British Virgin Islands and will spread across Puerto Rico this evening and tonight. Tropical storm conditions will reach the Dominican Republic by late Sunday. Heavy rains from Fiona will spread west to the British and U.S. Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico today, the Dominican Republic Sunday, and the Turks and Caicos Monday night. These rainfall amounts are expected to produce life-threatening flash floods and urban flooding, along with mudslides in areas of higher terrain, especially across portions of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Uh, Fiona is expected to strengthen after moving north of Puerto Rico and past the Dominican Republic on Monday, and interest in the Turks and Caicos Islands and southeastern Bahamas should continue to monitor forecasts for the storm. So there's a little graphic over here, and this shows that uh, Puerto Rico is expected to get anywhere between 6 and 18 inches of rain. This is going to cause a massive flooding across the island, especially across the southeastern portions of Puerto Rico. If you live in southeastern Puerto Rico, you need to be preparing for uh, big time, possibly catastrophic flooding from Fiona. Have a have a plan in place to uh, to seek shelter or get to higher ground to stay safe from the flooding because we're going to be seeing just horrible flooding from Fiona across Puerto Rico. Looking at the uh, National Hurricane Center graphic, we have tropical storm warnings for uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, and Northeastern Dominican Republic. And we have a hurricane warning for Puerto Rico now. And we have hurricane watches as well for the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, and hurricane watches for the Eastern Dominican Republic. So Fiona is now expected to become a hurricane as it makes landfall Sunday afternoon in Puerto Rico and become a stronger hurricane as it moves just east of the Dominican Republic and east of the Turks and Caicos Monday and Tuesday. And unfortunately, it could curve towards Bermuda Thursday and Friday, where it could become a major hurricane. And looking at the satellite imagery of Fiona, uh, Fiona is looking a little bit less impressive than it was this time yesterday, but uh, we are in the period of where convection is going to start to blow up, as typically convection blows up in the evening, and we're starting to see a blow up of convection just east of the center once again. So unfortunately, I don't think this weakening trend is going to continue, and I think that Fiona is going to start to quickly strengthen as it approaches Puerto Rico over the next 6 to 18 hours. And looking at the uh, model plots for the direction where Fiona is going to move, it is expected to make landfall in southeastern Puerto Rico in 24 hours. 48 hours is expected to move just northeast of the Dominican Republic. 70, 72 hours just east of the Turks and Caicos and luckily out to sea until about uh, five to six days where we really have to watch my friends in Bermuda because once again my friends in Bermuda you might be threatened by Fiona as a major hurricane in five to six days so really pay close attention to Fiona if you live in Bermuda and looking at the intensity model guidance is expected to become a Category 1 hurricane in the next 24 to 48 hours, and a Category 2 hurricane 
in the next 72 to 96 hours and possibly a category three in the next uh, 96 to 144 hours or five to four to six days as it starts to curve towards Bermuda. And looking at the rainfall totals from the European model, this is really concerning me as the European model is putting totals of 7 to 20 inches across Puerto Rico from Fiona. Um, if you're in Puerto Rico, please, please take this seriously and make preparations for how you're going to deal with the flooding because this is going to be life-threatening. And then the Eastern Dominican Republic, this is good news. If, if Fiona stays a little bit to the east, and I hope and pray that it does, uh, you might be spared the worst of the rain in, in the, the Dominican Republic, where you can be now expecting 3 to 7 inches instead of yesterday, the model was putting up to 15 inches. And the Turks and Caicos, I hope the easterly trend continues for you guys as well, because now the European model is only putting one to four inches across the Turks and Caicos, whereas yesterday was putting up to 20 inches. So this is really good news that the track has shifted a little bit to the east. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching my update on Tropical Storm Fiona. I'll continue to provide updates as, the, uh, as Fiona moves through Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and the Turks and Caicos, and towards Bermuda. Have a wonderful evening and stay safe, my friends.